All right, well, today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to replace your alternator fuse on a Toyota 2001. Okay, first you gotta access your fuse box. It's right next to the battery. And um, you don't know where your alternator fuse is, you can look at your diagram on the back of the cover. It says um, right there. And that is this one right here. Okay. So what you want to do is you can't just pull that out because this fuse is screwed in here somewhere so you gotta remove this whole box right here what you do is you release it from the side which I already did what you do this one is usually pressed in like this and you press it out and go that way and the same way the same thing you do on this side you press that out to kind of like release it from the clip and then use a screwdriver to kind of like slowly pull this out of there Okay, now as you can see, there is a screw that holds the fuse down in place. So, are you going to be needing a, an, an 8 millimeter socket wrench on this one, or you could use a Phillips screwdriver, but it's kind of tight for a Phillips screwdriver, so I use a socket wrench, 8 millimeter on this side. All right, and a 10 millimeter on the other side, and force out a little bit there. There, once you remove those screws and screw it, and then you can just very easily pull the, the fuse out and replace it. So we're going to do that. All right, so I'm using my eight millimeter socket wrench on this one. Once it's kind of loose, I use a Phillips screwdriver to kind of like completely remove the screw it's kind of hard to reach it's in there so I'm gonna use this There's one screw removed. Let's go to the other side and use our 10 millimeter socket wrench to remove that one. Okay, so we got that off. Now we can very easily pull this out. Should come off, no problem. It's 
See where the screws fit in? That's why you can't just pull that out without unscrewing. All right, so now let's put, go get our new one, which is right there. And we can put that in there. And let's put the screws back. 10 millimeter here. And an 8 millimeter here. Or you just use your Phillips screwdriver. It's kind of like a, a challenge to put the screws back because it's just, you gotta keep on pulling this up a little bit. And this the cable is on the side, I'm pretty sure. So, um. And this one too. What I did is like, I kind of like, uh, see this, pull this up using a screwdriver first, like that, until it aligns with the, uh, the screw hole, right, and then from there just by hand, I, I start it putting the screw in before I tighten up and do the same thing on the other side now that I have pretty much aligned this part with the screw hole using my screwdriver now I can just go and get the screw and start it by hand to return it looks tight okay I'll do the same thing on the other side and that's it don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Push this back down and place the cover back. All right, have a nice day.